What is up, you guys? My name is Tedru, and today's video we are going to be reacting to Jubilee's Odd Man Out. Um, the topic is six Asians versus one secret non Asian. So, as an Asian, um, let's see how this mole is going to be, you know, he can act out as an Asian or she can win this way out. So, let's see. The USA celebrates its heritage and identity as a nation of immigrants. What adds to the diversity is the Asian American population that traces its roots to more than 20 countries in Asia, each having a different culture and a unique characteristic. In this episode of Odd Man Out, let's see how easy it is for the mole to fake an identity. Okay, let's see. Let's we brought see. together seven Asians, blindfolded. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I am Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm, Asian. I'm Mexican. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. This is Odd Man Out. Hi, my name is Chriselle and I'm the first person in line. Hi, my name is Josh and I'm the second person in line. My name is Brianna and I'm the third person. Okay, the first thing that we know as an Asian is, I mean, I, I think this is most common, I guess. But if... I, Accent is not kind of like really like you know it's not that fluent please speak I mean that's what I kind of commonly noticed person in line my name is Zaldi and I am the fourth person in line and I'm Aaron I am the fifth person in line my name is Michelle I'm the sixth person in line I'm Preet and I'm the seventh person in line uh, I'll start uh, no shoes inside the house Yes, that's that's what our general rule is. So, off the shoes. So, I think this one is passed. It's simple. I think. I mean, most Asian parents probably have that. I don't know if this was like specific to Filipinos. They always said like not to sleep with your feet facing the door because the ghosts can take you or, or something like that. We had it. You don't sleep facing the mirror. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> that makes sense. Like one thing I didn't get, um, anytime I, like, I would spend the night at my like, non-Asian friend's house, particularly my white friends, I noticed some of them, like if they would get into arguments with their parents and they would argue back really hard. And I was thinking to myself, I would never do oh, that yeah. with my mom. When white people That's definitely true or else there will be a flying sandals coming at you. <laughs> People call their parents um, by their, by first, their name? first name? I was just gonna oh, ask like, how that. can you do that? <laughs> if I call my Yeah, sometimes it's like a nickname and they you know they just add um two letters or one letters to your name like for example like um or they cut up your full name so that they can you know easily pronounce your name <laughs> so that's what they call nickname yeah <laughs> um for example mine is Ted Brian so they call me Yan Yin it's like twice twice Y A N from my that is taken up by my second, I don't know what they call those, second name, Brian, the third Brian, so Yan Yin, there, there it is. <laughs> Just a simple fact, facts, which is actually true for that. Yes, my Asian name is, my Asian we... name is the boy. Well, I, I feel like there's like... someone here who hasn't spoken much. Yeah, I feel like that would be a good indication of like, just me like being like the quiet one in the group. I felt like that kind of just like gave it away that I wasn't like telling the truth. My so parents I mean. are like whitewashed, so <laughs> oh. it's like I barely like I'm not fluent in our native language, but do they give you a name? I have an oh, American name. It's just Brianna. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like every Asian has a Asian name. Oh, where are you and from? Then, yeah, what ethnicity? Yeah, this is what I talk about. Who are you again? I'm Japanese. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah. The Japanese one. Uh, when do you celebrate New Year? Um, January first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would be as nervous as I was, but once I started asking like the tougher questions, I kind of was like trying to think fast. I went 2013 because my sister just got married to a white guy. All the stereotypes that were discussed were definitely valid questions. However, I don't think that's like the best way to judge if someone is Asian or not. I voted for Josh because it was very quiet. I would think that the mole didn't want to reveal himself too much. Uh, a lot of our answers weren't too detailed. I hate to be stereotypical, but it was the way that he sounded. Oh, is it Brienne? Hey. I feel like... 
Oh, Mexicans it's Brianna. and Asians are kind of like we have a lot of similarities. You feel like you're kind of in the middle. You said that you're third generation, pre- right? Third. Sorry, no, I'm first generation. Oh, first American. generation. Why I'm did so I hear sorry. someone say third generation? I said oh, yeah, third yeah. by oh, accident. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. I said third by accident. Okay. I'm first okay. generation American. So your parents immigrated here? Yes, back in 1986 and then 1990. Okay, and, and what and part of- And do you have a girlfriend? Me? Yeah. No. When he said he was third generation and then he backed up and said, oh no, I'm first- Yeah, he's kind of sus though. Generation, that was kind of a red flag to me. I meant to say third generation Christian because my family was Hindu before. I meant to say first generation American. <laughs> After she talked about the relationship with her parents, oh, pretty no, little down are you voting out? But the three people that were to Wait, my God. left were giving just such great answers. My boy Josh was just kind of piggybacking off those answers. Oh, they're voting out there. Really? In terms of being like estranged or cutting them out, it's not something that you typically hear when it comes to Asian families. I do think that not fitting into those stereotypes is what got me out. Raise your hand if you have any doubts and would like to continue the game. Did you guys ever like talk to your parents about like your mental health growing up? No, no, was, that, that wasn't ever no. part of our culture. But never. I feel like I mean yeah, they're they're very like what what does that even mean? Like therapy? Yeah. No, but I feel like you know times are changing and like I was gonna if you just talk about it with them, they'll they're always there to understand. But did you ever have the talk like the birds and the bees talk with <laughs> no. your parents? Nope. Yeah, yeah, no, I had to like figure it out myself. <laughs> did your parents let you like date in high school or even like middle school? No, because no. it was more of like a like you weren't ready type of thing. My parents were always like, don't date, don't date, don't date growing up. Same. And then now I'm like, okay, I didn't date. And now I'm like single. And they're yeah, like, that's what I'm go now, date, go date. Now, <laughs> now my dad's like, like, yo, we're my grandchildren. Yeah, <laughs> that girl is kind of sus now. That's not impossible. Like they don't even encourage us to date, but to work, work harder. Especially in school that is supposed to be the kind of expectations that a Asian parents would be. Of those people, yeah, to be honest. I don't know anything about people. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Wait, where'd we're, you say your parents are from? They're from in India? India, but we live in Ontario, California. Oh, but right where now. in India? Gujarat. No one really knows where Gujarat is. What are is. your uh, parents' names? My parents? Yeah. My mom's name is actually Spanish. So her name's Leona, but she goes by Ina now. And then my dad's name is Ashish. My parents have super white names, actually. It's Ellen and Dennis. <laughs> it's like, what? So when you said that your parents had white names, did you think that people will get, will get suspicious? A part of me, yes. And then um, someone next to me asked, oh, what are their Asian names? And I was like, oh gosh, I don't even know. And their birth names? Uh, I actually don't. Youngjin and my mom's is, I'm not really sure. So just to say that I'm not Asian, I don't have any arm hair if you guys want to feel. <laughs> what? I don't have any arm I mean, hair. I'll just feel. A, yeah, there you go. Is that oh. a thing? I mean, oh. not that. Yeah, I don't, don't really have any arm hair. <laughs> I don't feel anything. And the body hair. A little weird. Yeah, I mean, like, I had to use stereotypes to defend myself because I wanted to be sure that I was going to win. No, wait, what? Okay. Let's say they'd never seen my face and they're only talking to me, they would think I'm white. And that was the reason why I was voted off because I don't. I sound too like too much like a surfer dude. I grew up in the suburbs of Oregon, so. So raise your hand if you have any doubt and you would like to continue with the game. All right. I think we got them. I feel like we got I them. I don't think so. Who'd you think it was? Josh, bro, I swear, my man, like. All right. No. So if the lights turn green, we go to the mode out. Uh. The Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. So I think it's probably Brianna from the start. Alright, so you can open your blindfolds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> Brianna. So we got it. Oh. No, we were right the first the time. Were against <laughs> each other. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew it was Brianna because, I mean, I'm not really, really, I guess, I'm not really familiar with the Mexican thing. And I already assumed <laughs> that 
uh, Brianna was the mole. I mean, out of pure, I mean, out of sheer luck, and then there it is. <laughs> and I thought that they already, the Jubilee already told who the mole is, and <laughs> I just assumed it, and there it is. I mean, I'm not really familiar with the Mexican country having, uh, you know, having mixed with Asian race or, uh, or whatever. Well, I definitely. Um, I cannot really express my thoughts because I, I, I don't want to be as racist as possible because of I think the stereotypes of or stuff. But I mean, what I say. Is based on my knowledge and my experience and how I, I compared it based on what I see in the video so yeah I thought she was Japanese the way she kind of spoke and the way she kind of carried herself I just assumed she was a quiet Japanese girl last semester I did take Japanese class I could speak like a little bit I'm not like fluent I wanted to see if I was able to distinguish people what differentiates people or as well as you know what experiences have they gone through that I can also relate to yeah I, I feel very comfortable talking about my race and ethnicity because yeah it matters oh shoot. Oh, Oh, I, I've never done that. It was so good. All right. Okay. So that is Odd Man Out by Jubilee. Great, great thing. Great job on you know doing this kind of stuff. I actually had a hard time distinguishing on you know what I should. Do. I mean, at the first place, I I really thought that. Um, I mean, it's hard to determine too which person it is because I can't also understand um, much of their conversations at all and sometimes their explanations. Um, I Sometimes I can't, I just can't go up with it. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, I really did enjoy it and... I didn't cut off them. I mean, I mean, I kind of seem guessed, and it turns out correct. But yeah, <laughs> that was a pure sheer luck, and I enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed it as well, please forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more of this series, reaction videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And peace.